Today we are going to talk about settings and visibility settings in Hell Let Loose and what you can do to improve them. I saw a few posts on Reddit about low FPS or questions about will my setup even run Hell Let Loose. Hell Let Loose is really poorly optimized and it definitely does need some tweaking to get the most bang for your buck. In this guide we'll be going over launch options, Nvidia settings, in-game settings and something that in my personal opinion should be blocked from even being allowed to be used in the game. And even more so now with the night maps coming up in update 12. Before we start, make sure your drivers are up to date and make sure you're running a healthy Windows installation. Let's start off with the launch options. Now to get here, open your Steam library and right click on Hell Let Loose. Go to the field launch options and type in minus DX12 and minus use all available cores. If you're like me, you will want to know what this does. Well, DX12 will force the game to use DirectX12 and it will be your biggest FPS increase. Use all available cores will force the game to use all the cores you have available at that time on your CPU. Instead of trying to jam it through one single core, and this is important for Hell Let Loose, since Hell Let Loose is a CPU intensive game, so we want to use all the cores that your system has available. Adding the DX12 option will give you the best FPS increase, but for some players it can lead to micro stuttering. If that is the case for you, look up on how to clean your DirectX shader cache and in most cases that will fix the issue for you. Other launch options that you see like refresh or malloc equals system won't do much for you and it's basically a red herring, so no need to apply those. Also videos suggesting to change your power plan to high performance and so on. Can't emphasize that enough, it does not increase your FPS, it only increases your power consumption. Now for Nvidia users you can change a few settings which will set up your graphics card for maximum performance usage. If you're not using an Nvidia graphics card you can skip ahead to the next chapter and go straight into the in-game settings. For Nvidia users, what we'll want to do here is set up your graphics card for maximum performance. To do that, open up the Nvidia control panel, go in the Manage 3D Settings tab, and once in the 3D Settings tab, click on Program Settings. We will create a customized settings plan for Hell Let Loose. Per default, Hell Let Loose won't be in a default drop-down list, so we'll have to click on Add, and if you recently played Hell Let Loose, it will be in this list. If you haven't, you need to click on Browse and add your Hell Let Loose manually, which can be found on your disk where you store your Steam library. Once we added Hell Let Loose, there are three settings we want to change, namely Power Management Mode set to maximum performance, Texture Filtering Quality changed it to high performance, and Turn Vertical Sync off. Once you have done that, hit the Apply button and we are done here. If everything went according to plan and you applied every setting correctly, it is time for the in-game settings. Now, to preface this, these settings are to squeeze out the most FPS out of your game and achieve the highest visibility we can possibly get. And it's not about to make the game look pretty. So, in the gameplay tab, change the dead body spawn despawn slider to 0.5 minutes. We don't want dead bodies cluttered everywhere, eating up our FPS. We just need to spot them within our near vicinity and with 0.5 minutes, it gives us plenty of time to do that. The next one is down to personal preference. What I tend to do is set HUD display mode to always on. This will always show the HUD on top of your screen. And another thing I change is the player nameplate opacity. I usually set this around 70-75%. This will make the nameplates a bit more transparent so you can see through them and not get in the way of enemy players lining up with it. Over to the video settings. In the video settings I have my brightness set to 130% since this will make everything much lighter and more visible and even allow players hiding in dark corners or bushes. Especially on Purple Heart Lane you can notice the difference if you turn up the brightness. And for Foy I tend to turn it down a bit else the snow will blind you. There's no golden number to set this so try different brightness levels to find out what works for you. For texture quality I always run with high and you can set this to low to gain a bit more FPS and for spotting enemies in bushes a bit easier but this isn't a massive game changer. Shadow quality you will want to set this to low since shadows will eat up your FPS and by setting this to low it makes spotting enemies hiding around buildings much easier. AA method use community or clarity 
and set this to high or epic. If you set this lower, everything will look blurry. And fix quality, you will want to set this to low, because this affects explosions, smokes, fires and so on. When you set this setting to low, it will make it easier to spot enemies through and around the smokes, fires and so on. And it will also gain a little bit FPS. View distance, set this to high or epic and this is self-explanatory. Polyash quality medium is mandatory in my opinion. And yes, any other setting or higher setting will make the game look more beautiful. And to the downside of this, it will add in or render bushes and foliages that otherwise aren't present in the medium setting. Post processing quality to medium for some FPS gain and SSAO and motion blur off. Now, for NVIDIA graphic card users, pay close attention because you're the lucky ones again. There is something you can tweak to get better visibility in the game, and there's another thing you can achieve to even further visibility. But, but I mentioned multiple times this should be blocked and not even allowed, and the developers of Hell Let Loose should address this. Let's get the easy one out of the way first. Let's open up the NVIDIA control panel again and go into the tab Display and adjust Desktop Color Settings. Warning, keep in mind, this setting will affect the way everything looks in the game and outside the game. So once you're done playing a game, change this back to the default setting. In this tab, we will want to adjust the digital vibrance. This will make your colors more richer, brighter and cleaner. And lucky for us, this also applies to Hell at Loose and in enemy soldiers and so on. I usually set this around 65-70% and again, there's no magical number for this. Find your own preferred setting through trial and error. On to the juicy bit, and which again, in my opinion, should be addressed and prevented. Now, why I mention this, because it's already broadly used in some competitive games or by competitive players. And I hope to bring or raise some attention to it. If you install NVIDIA GeForce Experience, and note when you install it, pay attention that you don't allow it to optimize your settings, else everything you have done up to this point will be wiped. But once you install this, it allows you to add game filters. If you press Alt Z or Alt F3, it will give you the option to add so-called game filters. You can add a brightness and contrast filter to brighten up the game even more, make the enemy even more visible. Keep in mind, keep in the back of your head, the upcoming update has night maps, and the night map effect will be completely nullified by this. This also happened before in other games like Escape from Tarkov. Players with Nvidia cards use these filters to completely brighten up the darkness areas that the developers intended. Now, the developers of Escape from Tarkov eventually asked Nvidia to disable this filter support for the game, and I'm hoping for the same in this game. Other filters you can apply are details or sharpen. This will greatly increase clarity and the visibility of enemy players and everything on the map. There is a downside to this, it will make your game so ugly, it's unbelievable. So that's the trade-off. If you want to apply this, toy around with the different filters and settings and find what works for you. If you enjoyed this guide or learned a thing or two, check out some of my other guides where I discuss how you can improve your own visual gameplay or deep dive into AT and how to play it effectively. Good luck with squeezing out those extra hard needed FPS in this game and I will see you in the next one.